Travelling so much for his work means Leighton was after a lock-up and go with the comforts of home, but without the need for constant maintenance. At first, he wasn't crazy about this apartment. Then he looked past the basic finishes and saw what could be. We use that word a lot, New York-style apartment. What does that entail? I think, in my opinion, what's important is the great utilisation of space as well as timeless finishes. Come up to my apartment, I'll show you. The 20s style of Manhattan's most dramatic buildings set the scene, so that by the time you enter the apartment, you already feel you're overlooking Central Park. Here we are. In the heart of Hyde Park. I love this chair. It's quite funky, hey? Oh, and it's so comfortable and it swings. Perspex bubble chair, so it really works well in the space because it's clear, so it doesn't take up much space in the entrance hall like this. And this is such an important space, it's the first one you see, and this must be the funkiest entrance hall I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. And what's also great is the tinted mirrors you put on the one side, so it opens up the entrance hall quite dramatically. And I'm very easily distracted by shiny things, and this wall is one of those things. Oh, the 3D wallpaper, that is quite interesting. It's actually wallpaper. It is. So it opens up the area once again with a foil look. And I'm just, Marilyn's checking me out there and she, she actually just blew me a kiss. Flushed with the attentions of Miss Monroe, Jonathan was then bowled over by the impact of this living area. Straight from the entrance hall and into this lovely double volume space. Yes, talking about space, Jonathan, I think what's quite important in an uh, apartment like this is actually to utilise the space correctly. What we've done here, for instance, we've actually lifted the TV and attached it to the wall, so there's ample space underneath, so it actually opens up the room. Everything from that to the tinted mirrors we've put on the TV unit as well, which leads across to the kitchen. So there's a constant theme going throughout. When it comes to apartment living, it's so important to divide the space carefully. It is. Once again, I mean, if you look at this particular area, we've got the dining room, we've got the lounge, and we've got the kitchen as well. And it's important for the kitchen and part of all these areas to work comprehensively together. And you've got another amazing wallpaper up there. It is. It's actually a mother of pearl, which is a paper that we've applied on the column. And being proper mother of pearl, it catches the light beautifully in so many different ways. It does, doesn't it? Rooms with bold fixtures can be shaped to your ideas by telling yourself that even original cherry wood is not above a makeover. And Jonathan, actually this was part of the original kitchen. We painted some cupboards up, changed the tops and kept the original shape and added a few cupboards on. It shows you don't have to replace cupboards, all you need to do is paint them. No, exactly. And what's great about this space is we've actually incorporated with the living room. So it looks as one whole area or one whole sort of room. Something else which I love, which I noticed in the TV room as well, is that there are no handles. It's all finger grips, so it's all nice and clean and well integrated. And there are no cables, there are no appliances, everything's hidden. Everything is. Everything's integrated. So being part of the living room, we don't necessarily want to see appliances. So we want to keep those all hidden away. We have lots of it in South Africa, so we think of space as more horizontal. In New York, they celebrate the vertical and maximize on each area. Just back to the utilization of space, many people have a room and they don't know what to do in it and there's usually a lot of junk or clutter, whereas here, we have a little work from home sort of office or space. Um, so and what I've also done is keep the same wallpaper, the mother of pearls, so with the theme going throughout. A lack of clutter defines Leighton's work, whether in hard furnishings or soft. And here's the bedroom. This is lovely. It's exactly how a bedroom should feel. It's luxurious, but it's warm at the same time. The best of both worlds. I mean, you've got the luxury, as you said, and the lovely chocolates and golds and sort of incorporation, but yet still masculine. And it shows you how nicely textures can give it such a cozy feel. You've got the velvet throw and the wallpapers. It really is great. It all comes together. A sound system that plays tunes direct from your phone, a bold portrait, and a bed that's luxurious without being a ball gown. Then there's the roof deck. Oh wow, this is what I call my kind of space. Uh, it's a funky space, isn't it? It was quite a waste of space before, really. So the key here was to try and utilize it in a way that we could actually get full benefit of this space, um, from the deck to the astroturf, uh, to a couple of different features within this area. You've basically taken a bland concrete slab and transformed it into this magical hidden paradise. I wanted a bit of a roof terrace upstairs with a bit of a garden, but something that was low maintenance. I didn't have to worry about it, but it had all the benefits of sort of luxury living. Bradley Jansen's know-how made all the difference. Tell us a bit more about the material. Leighton originally wanted a timber deck and we advised him to go with a composite imported from America. We came up with a basic design and uh, we did all the final touches and put it together for him. 
The decking looks like this beautifully weathered wood, but what is it actually made up of? Basically, this is a blend of uh, recycled wood fiber and recycled plastic, and the only additives are the UV stabilizers and the colorants. Which is perfect. It's a great sort of finishing product for the roof, eco-friendly, great sort of hard-wearing, low-maintenance, ideal for this application. Aside from the vistas of African skies, Leighton's other favorite artworks are those sourced by Trish Malamid. All over this apartment are perfect examples how artwork completes the space. And it's quite interesting you're saying that because the artwork was introduced in this apartment after the furnishing was done. And you'll see how well everything ties itself together. Everything from the gold cushions to the different variations in colour throughout the apartment. However, a lot of people are very intimidated by art. And that's where Trish has helped us out in terms of selection and the framing of the artworks. Well, you actually made it very easy for me because you said you wanted colour to introduce into your palette. And we've introduced lots and lots of bright colour. And we've used our Belgium publishing house, who have really some of the latest designs and also some of the timeless classics. To mention Joseph Albers on the stairwell, his homage to the square. He's an American artist that was born in Germany, and those are decades old, and yet they are absolutely timeless in this apartment. Again, continuing that New York style timeless theme. Exactly. Commissioning an artist to paint an original in your chosen style can be affordable and gives a decor theme its own unique fingerprint. So Jonathan, I think if we look at all the elements we went through today, everything from the flooring to the spatial planning, we've really achieved that in terms of creating a New York style apartment here. Well, here's to the best of both worlds, New York style living in the heart of Johannesburg. Cheers. Yeah.